grammar. I know most people learning a second language do not like it. But grammar is not something evil languages invent to torture non-native speakers. The grammar of a language is a window into the culture and knowledge of another group of people. By comparing the grammars of languages in different parts of the world, we get evidence about migration and the relationship between people and their languages. And the grammar of an underdocumented language tells us something new about just how different other languages can be in their structure and categorization of objects and events in daily life. My dissertation is a grammar of Karbi, a language spoken by half a million people in Northeast India. Karbi belongs to the Tibeto-Burman language family and is therefore related to languages like Tibetan, Burmese, and also Chinese. To collect the data for the grammar, I spent 15 months in Northeast India over the last few years. In collaboration with a local language organization called Karbi Lamet Ame, we recorded native speakers using their language in different ways. We collected folk stories, songs, conversations, interviews, and so on, because different genres have different grammatical structure. Now, Karbi is really different from European languages such as English, Spanish, or French, and I'll just share three examples. First, Karbi has tone. That means that every word needs to be pronounced with a certain intonation so it is meaningful to Karbi speakers. Take the word tu. Tu with a low tone means tasty, while tu with a short mid-tone means rotten. Obviously a pretty important distinction. <laughs> Second, Karbi has more than 50 different kinship terms. There are individual words for younger brother, mu, older brother, ik, or a male speaker's father's younger sister's son, miso. <laughs> Third, Karbi speakers can specify what they say about an event, its participants, or its result just by sticking certain endings on a verb. And there are more than 200 of those endings. Take the verb kor, to bite. Korcheng means to bite for the first time. Korbok means to bite to death. Kordak means to bite and the object splits apart. Korplam means to bite with a loud noise and so on. So you see, Karbi is really different from a language like English, and by documenting this different grammatical structure of Karbi, my dissertation also provides a window into the culture and knowledge of the Karbi people. Thank you. <laughs>